think I've managed to convince James to go through his stuff, which is a box of memorabilia, keepsake photos of his. Do you want to do it, James? No, not at all. It's <laughs> a horrible idea. <laughs> I've, see, I've asked him to give me half an hour. Half an hour and see how see what damage we can do. Hello and good day everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm continuing with decluttering. I promised myself that I was going to get 2,000 items done. 2,022 items for 2022. Which is a challenge that Rachel of Nourishing Minimalism puts out. Um, she promotes that. And it was just a cool idea I thought. But I've tried to do it all in December. Now so far I have managed to do a video showing the first 468 items that I've done. But I'm pretty keen to get the last as many as I can done before the end of the year. So I've got two or three days actually just finished Christmas and we're heading into New Year's Eve so what I've been doing is working out the things that I need to cull and unfortunately a lot of those things are going to be photos so they're photos that I need to scan to make them digital so that I no longer have to hold a hard copy I would eventually like to make some photo books and things like that out of them but for now they just need to be made digital so I'm now in my dining room because I've set myself up to do photos I've been doing them for I don't know I think I've spent an hour on them or so so far this is the box of photos and albums that I need to go through and it's got all those photos in it and all those photos need to be scanned so what I do I've got my scanner connected via Bluetooth and internet connected to my laptop and on here I'll show you I've got the app for my scanner so it scans it from my scanner and transfers it to a file on my computer and then while that's scanning the next one I make sure it's filed properly in the right place on my desktop these are the things that I've already scanned little dinky photo albums that I put together this was our honeymoon actually so once everything has been scanned I then can get rid of the actual hard copies some of them I'm going to keep maybe but I do only keep the ones like for example this pile here all of these I can actually get rid of this one was from my 21st birthday if you can see there it's got lots of messages from people they wrote to me on the night both sides of this has got little messages on it so I scan it and I can keep it and I'll put that together in a file in my desktop or in my Google Photos. I mean, I don't need photos of everything. This is a photo of a boat ride we took on our honeymoon. I don't need to keep a photo of this, but I don't mind keeping a digital copy, but I need to be able to get rid of this confidently. So this is my job. So I don't know how many pieces of things I'm going to be able to declutter out of there, but I am going to count each photo as one because each photo takes a lot of work to be able to get rid of it. Okay, so I'm halfway done on these photos. I have gotten rid of half a box and I've still got this many to scan, which is at least a hundred, I would say, maybe more. So far I have decluttered 445 photos been adding them up slowly as I've been putting them in this box but now I think I've managed to convince James to go through his stuff which is a box of memorabilia keepsake photos of his do you want to do it James no not at all <laughs> it's that one in there you have to pull it out this is a horrible idea <laughs> I've, said, I've asked him to give me half an hour half an hour and see how see what damage we can do Bible. No, just look at the stuff in the front. There's letters in there. Whoa. What's wrong? It's going to dig a while. I might put on my makeup while you're starting. <laughs> Do you need a rubbish bin? It's real, really bad throwing out a Bible, aren't I? Just put it to the side until you're ready to throw it out. I might leave him for 10 minutes and see how far he gets. I'll come back. I'm watching paint dry. I can scan photos. How's it going? It's going good. You look stuck in letters. There's a lot of letters to go through. It's a cool trip. It's a nice climbing trip. Well, it's I can scan good. the photos that you like. Oh. You don't have to hold on to them. But we just got to get rid of, I mean, this whole box is photos. I know, I know, it's, it's just terrifying, Wendy. How do you start? Oh, wow, you just got to start. But you said only half an hour, so we can do that. This, by the way, is a bathroom cabinet that we are going to be getting rid of because it's got rust in the bottom of it that we didn't realise. Would have been kind of cool. So, honey. Hey. Is there any in there that jump out at you? Uh... I could pick the photos I think are worthwhile. 
Gosh, really? Yeah, like that one of Leanne with the little puppy. That's mm. cool. Those two of Glenis are awesome. Mm. It's just that they don't need to be in the photo album. I can just digitise them for you. Okay. I don't remember half these people. No. I mean, who put them in an album? I must have put them in the album. Once upon a time. Oh. Are you okay with that horrendous job? I, no, I'm just going to take them out. This is it's oh. quite brutal. That's a, one, a group one of everybody. I can yeah. scan that. Yeah, um, I don't remember any of those people. Okay, so we don't keep it. But just but the ones of the trip, are called, like of the ship itself, just one or two of the ship. Okay. So I don't, really so I don't even need to take them out really, do I? I'll just take out the ones that are important. Like this one? Ones like yeah, that? Yeah, it's cool. Okay. you to wear that. So I've had a little bit longer than half an hour. It's been an hour and a half. But he's like got a third of the way to go. How you feeling James? We're getting there, eh? It's a bit daunting. Well that's your last pile. Yes. We've gotten rid of a whole bin of stuff and it's mostly photos and I want to say that that's a really big bin. It is, yes. We've got a few photos here like it's probably maybe, I don't know, maybe a hundred photos here that he's kept. Okay, so what I might do is just count up the things that he has been able to get rid of and add that to my list because if I can get to 1500 items within the next day or two then I've done my 2000 items for 2022. Just to explain, I am making sure that I count each photo as one because it has to be an item where you hold it and have to choose whether you're going to keep it or give it away. Like a piece of an envelope, I don't have to decide whether I'm going to keep it or give it away. So when I have to decide whether something is to be kept, scanned or stored or put in somewhere to be kept as a keepsake, that's when I have to choose. So every photo that has to be chosen, I charge that as one because it takes mental energy to decide whether I keep it or not. So it's worth a point. And can I just say that a lot of these photos are from before we were married, like when we were in school. And we've been married nearly 24 years this year. So these are stuff that he's been carrying around for 30 years and he doesn't even, didn't even really remember that he had them. He remembered that he had the photos, but he didn't remember the people in the photos. They need to go, they needed to be sorted and he's still got some to sort through, but this is a massive effort on his part. All right, so we have done amazing, I think. So if you look here, there's a few photos that James is gonna keep that need to be scanned. He might keep some of the hard copies, I don't know. This here is a pile of keepsakes. These are, you know, letters from people. There's an old diary. These are his old school things that he would like to hold on to. It'd be cool for our kids to see those. Those are photos, school photos to be scanned. I don't need to keep. I don't know why they're sitting there. This is a box of keepsakes. It's got old letters and cards and things that he wants to hold on to. And as he said, he doesn't feel comfortable throwing out a Bible. So I'm not quite sure what he's going to do with that. So the other stuff we have decluttered. This is a pile of things that needed to get sorted and thrown out. Like he had five dollars here I don't know what that was for it's a game of some kind folders clear files old photo books oh, that is actually got photos in it that he's getting rid of so I counted each individual photo because each individual photo needed a decision this is all rubbish this is just like notices envelopes pieces of paper these are little photo books that we have counted the photos and culled photos out that we want to keep or scan so I just counted each individual photo so all of this stuff that and this and all the other bits I've showed you fit into this 40 litre bin. So I have to find something else that he can put his bits and pieces into. So I'm going to pack up a little bit. I'm going to put these things with the other photos that I'm scanning in the lounge. And I'm going to put these little things in a pile. And we'll work out what's left and where it can be stored after. Okay, so continuing with my declutter, I am getting rid of a lot of Christmas decorations. From when I set up, there was stuff left over that I wasn't using. I ended up not using any of the tinsel, so I'm going to get rid of that. And there was quite a 
few baubles and things that I used to put on the tree that I'm just not bothering with. They're just kind of, they just, I didn't like them this year. So I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to pull the Christmas decorations down now. Got all the lights up here that need to come down. James is going to help me with the ladder and make sure those come down safely. And I'm going to go around and pick up the few bits and pieces that I've got uh, around the place that are representative of Christmas. We're going away on holiday and I don't want to deal with it when we get back. So I'm going to have to count up these Christmas decorations. There is tinsel in there, a set of lights and about a hundred baubles probably, but I will count them. There is more tinsel in here. This whole bag here is tinsel and there is one set of lights, but I've lost the plug to it. So that's a bit disappointing, but I did find this year that these particular bulb lights are no good. They're not very bright and they're a pain because once one goes, they all go. So I've just decided to say goodbye to bulb Christmas lights and I'll just use LED from now on. So I have to count that, but I'm going to go and see what else I can get out of the Christmas decorations that we're currently using. I have been basically scanning photos for the last, I want to say five or six hours. We're going away on holiday tomorrow and it's really important to me that I try and do that 2,000 items for December. So I'm going to show you where I'm at. I have got a box here full of photos that I have scanned that I no longer want. I've got piles of photos here that I've scanned but just in the last few hours I've had my children come through and sit down and they've all gone through them all and shown each other and had a good laugh seen how Nana and Papa's looked you know 10 20 30 years ago so it's all very fun to look back on them and it just makes me really aware that it's important that we have the photos and that we keep them and that we make sure that they're always available to see so once I've scanned photos I really need to make sure I get them put into photo books of some kind but there are hundreds and hundreds of photos that I've been scanning. Just today I have finished scanning a pile, this many, scanning photos. So that's a decent amount and that is at least 200 photos. And I have done multiple of those because I did a quite a big chunk today and I've done two other chunks of two or three hours each time. So it's probably taken me a total of 12 hours to do it all and I do suggest that you sit yourself down with a good run of movies. Now it's a case of me making sure that they all get counted and put away. So I think what I'm going to do is count up this last lot of photos. But I'll show you in a moment exactly what I've been able to declutter in this last big purge and show you where I get my 2,000 items from. Okay, so hello everyone. It's been, we've been home a few days from our holiday. I put out a video and I said that all the decluttering I had done in December, I wasn't able to edit the video together. So I'm now putting it all together and I've got all the things that I had decluttered and I've managed to count them all. And would you believe that I've met my target? I've actually exceeded my target by I think approximately mm, nearly 20. But what I'm going to do is show you what I've been managed to declutter. It's quite a lot of stuff. All of these bits and pieces, there's kind of spread out because I've had to count everything. It is an odd bunch that I've had to declutter. Uh, there's a few bigger items but I really did tackle all the photos. I've still got to do some things with it, the images that I scanned. But in all in all, I'm really stoked that I've been able to declutter this much stuff. And considering it was, you know, 2,022 items for the whole month of December, I can't imagine what I could do in a year. I have had years of practice at decluttering, so I basically just had to pull on all of the information that I already knew, which is, you know, do I love it? Does it bring me joy? Is it useful? Does it, is it useful to anyone in my family? All of those questions I was able to answer pretty quickly for a lot of this stuff. So I'm going to show you what I found and how I managed the 2,000 mark. So for starters, I had been decluttering a whole lot of things over the month of December prior to tackling my photos. And there's all sorts of things in here. 
I will try and show you without boring you. A coat rack that I never use. There's a few books and a puzzle. There's a, a top that I didn't want anymore. There's pillowcases and a bath mat and some cloths. Found some things in the bathroom cabinet, including a pair of earrings, a pet brush, a pet night glow. So you touch this and it glows at night so that you can see your dog running in the grass, <laughs> which we never use. So getting rid of it because someone else will use it. A spare mask. They are just forever around. Found some more electronics. I've held onto this one for a long time and I thought that I could upload a reading app on it for beside my bed but I was unable to so I'll just stick with my Kindle and there's an old laptop here that we're going to have to refresh and just get rid of because it just no longer works it's not functional anymore it's I think this one's like 10 years old there's a few things that came in and the Christmas things like the secret Santa that was a secret Santa found some washi tape there's a cord that can go in the electronics uh, there's some little toys here that I find it quite useless more makeup yeah there's some rubber bands and a dress up hat actually there's some office things there's some pens an old uh, mosquito plug-in thing it's a sleeping bag bag that doesn't have a sleeping bag anymore some hiking boots that no one fits puzzle some glasses a biscuit cutter an old charging thing handbag that I'm finally getting rid of I managed to force myself to get rid of it because it just sits there not being used. A pile of coat hangers. These are all plastic. I'm switching over to the velvet ones. And there is a double sheet and an old beach towel. Also here I'm getting rid of this whiteboard. It kind of gets around the place and is quite annoying. I don't really have a spot for it. Cora draws on it but she also draws on paper. So we're just going to remove this. I've got my steam mop that I'm getting rid of because we don't have any floor that I can use it on. I've got maybe three or four square meters of lino in my kitchen and I don't need a big mop like this for that. And these are the pads that go on the bottom and the other big ticket item is this bathroom mirror. We thought we would use it but James is just going to sell it so that's going. We packed up all our Christmas stuff before we went away. I counted these baubles and there was about 60 of them. I uh, counted the tinsel. There was quite a bit. There's about six or seven tinsels. There's some old lights in there and two tins. And I also found these outdoor light hangers. So all of this stuff in total is 147 if you can see that. So these were the things I decluttered on my own just quietly and then when we packed up all the Christmas decorations I was able to declutter there and James tackled his keepsake box which has had a huge amount of photos in it. Now can I just say that we have carted this box around our whole married life and we've been married nearly 24 years. <laughs> so we have carted this trunket of stuff. I think I just made up a word. I'll show you what I was able to get rid of. So this is the box. I think you would have seen that already and inside here is a whole lot of photos if you can see and this is in all of them and I counted up this pile I had to put them in bunches of 20 to count them it was 328 and other things so there's folders books that he's kept from trips there's a 21st key there's manuals old assignments letters these are more this for example you open up and it's got photos in it so we've taken out a few photos and I've scanned the ones that are important to him and in total in this pile it was 284 photos. So then after tackling all of his photos I really did have to continue tackling mine and I've had a box, this one here was full of loose photos and I had a few photo albums. I did have two scrapbooking albums and I've managed to condense them down just to the one. So it's a 12 by 12 and I've kept the ones that I really love and I've pulled the photos off the ones that weren't really necessary. I've scanned those photos and that album is being decluttered. So these are the ones that belong to us personally. This is me, that's me and Emma when she was about five. Actually I think she was about six or seven there. So in there, there is 220, and I've put them in blocks of 20 so I can count them. And over here, I've done the same. They're in blocks of 20, and there is 610 in there. I have scanned every single one of these, so they're on my hard drive, on my computer, and I'm going to have to put them into my Google Photos app. So scanning these photos took me hours. I probably had done 12 hours before we went away and I came back and I did another two or three hours before I was done. So all of the ones that I scanned were just ones that need to go but I didn't want to get rid of them before I'd scanned them. But I'd already decluttered them. All of these have to go. So 468, see if you can see that. Oh yeah, you can. Plus 
plus 2, 20, plus 6, 10. That's 2, 20, 6, 10. And then I've got plus 2, 84. And then I've got 147. And then the last one, 328. Look at that. 2,057 items. Boom. Awesome. It's worth it. It's so worth it. I love getting rid of all this junk. It's not actually junk. It's just stuff I have to look after and tidy up and clean up, keep organized and store and look after. And I don't have to do that for 2,057 items. 2,057 items. And it only took me, I don't know, it took me a month, really, of thinking and working it out and and that was in amongst Christmas and New Year. Super stoked with myself and I love the fact that I can now take the majority of this to the second hand store. I think I will have to incinerate the photos. I think that they are going to be things that I don't want just going into the dump. I don't know they're just it just feels weird just throwing them out. I have definitely scanned them all so I have digital copies and I'm going to be making digital photo books because that's what I want. I want them all nicely uniformed on my shelf by year and special events. You know like we did a camp trip down south for about a month one year so I'd like to have a book for that. Uh, Logan and Bex's wedding I would like a book for that. Cora's birth like her first year would be a book for that but everything else will just be by year. So I think it's cool for me to get rid of these. I'm just looking forward to moving on to the next declutter. I'm looking forward to getting through my children's keepsake boxes. My children have also got their bedroom clothing that needs to be decluttered. I've got to work through my kitchen. I feel like I'm kind of taking back my house slowly. We've moved into this new space, but things have got to be organized a lot more than they are. And I'm definitely making some headway on that. So I'm really stoked to be getting this video out. I'm just hoping that it might motivate others. It might inspire you to get through your photos. And it can be done. It's not hard. It just takes a little bit of thought, time, attention. It might be a, you know, a holiday project or it might be a winter project. You kind of do it when you've got some evening spare and you've got the headspace for it and you don't have any other major projects going on. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you as always spending time with me. I hope that this has inspired you, encouraged you in some way, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video with some more decluttering, more organizing, more home inspiration. But until then, bye for now.